God does nothing in the world except he reveal it to his servant, the prophet. 7th January, 2020. A time shall come when there shall be a scholar, a renowned scholar, that shall come into this nation. Something to do with nation, this nation, not something around here, but I see a name, Iga, Iga, Iga. Then I saw something. I saw someone being taken on a sick leave. I took it for a long time, eh? It'll be like two weeks. There is not any man, prophet, psychic, whatever you may call them, that has stood in front of masses and has been that detailed and that specific about things year in, year out, and you have seen them before you. Prophet Elvis Mbonye, the prophet with an unmatched record of prophetic fulfillment. These prophecies are indications that you are indeed in the presence of the testimony of Jesus, who is or which is the spirit of prophecy. comparison to God's supreme authority demonstrated by the spirit of prophecy through the accurate fulfillment and operation of Prophet Elvis Mboya. 7th January 2020. A time shall come when there shall be a scholar, a renowned scholar, that shall come into this nation and he shall bear with him a lot of controversy controversy this controversy that and the drama that shall erupt as a result of his presence the spirit of god says i shall cause you to behold it to see it and to know that yet still I exalt my wisdom above the wisdom of this world. Now you understand why, like a thing like that, why I would not mention the name of the person. Eh? You should be mature enough to know that that wouldn't be right. Eh? Three months later, Regional media suddenly erupted over the controversial emergence of renowned American scholar Professor Safraz Kaniazi in Uganda and claims of him having a cure for the corona pandemic. A professor who, uh, who manufactured a, a treatment for coronavirus in the US was here last week and he has granted the patent to Uganda. And within a fortnight, the treatment will be made here. It will be available on the market here in Uganda. Professor Safaraz Kenyazi developed an effective uh, advanced sanitizer that has been proven to kill the COVID-19 virus instantly. True to the accuracy of this prophecy, the news surrounding the renowned scholar's visit to Uganda was so controversial that it led to a clash between the Speaker of the House, the entire parliament, and the Ugandan medical fraternity. The Uganda Medical Association would like to put the record straight that the SARS-CoV coronavirus, which is the cause of the coronavirus 19, is a new strain of coronaviruses, which was only discovered to cause human disease less than three months ago. Prior to this, it was never known. To date, 
there is no single medicine that can cure this disease or a vaccine that can prevent it. From what we understand, whatever was purported to be a treatment, cure or vaccine is actually a disinfectant meant for external body use. It is unlikely that the same has any approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which regulates such compounds in the USA, where this compound is claimed to have come from. With every astounding prophecy and fulfillment, by Prophet Elvis Mbonye. It has been made clear that our generation is not without a mouthpiece of God to whom he reveals everything before it happens. 7th January, 2020. It's not something to do with national prophecies, something to do with nation, this nation, not something around here, but I see a name, Iga, 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 who is Coming in the news, Murasi Bro. Close to three months later, a renowned cleric in Uganda was arrested amidst government regulations concerning a global pandemic. Augustine Yiga was charged before Mwanga II court with doing an act that is likely to spread an infection of disease. Prosecution contends that Yiga on the 27th of March 2020 at his church in Kawala in Kampala and before reporters of various TV stations uttered words to mean that there is no coronavirus in Uganda and Africa, well knowing that such words are likely to fuel the spread of coronavirus. The magistrate remanded him to Chitale prison until 6th April. The prophet highlighted that this would be a national issue. It's not something to do with national prophecies, something to do with nation, this nation, not something around here, but I see a name, Iga, Iga, Iga. True to the prophetic word, this arrest happened in the midst of a major national emergency over the coronavirus pandemic. The prophecy specifically mentioned the name Yiga, which happens to be the name of the controversial cleric who was arrested. The prophet specified in the prophecy that this would make news. The cleric's arrest made major national headlines, unfolding exactly as the prophecy had revealed. Everyone returning to Canada isolate themselves for 14 days. Everybody who was in New York should be self-quarantining for the next 14 days. Ugandan President Yuri Museveni has decreed an immediate two-week ban on all vehicle traffic and a night curfew to combat the spread of the novel coronavirus. In Uganda, President Yuri Museveni has imposed a 14-day curfew in a raft of measures to curb the further spread of the coronavirus in that country. 7th January. 2020. Then I saw something. And you know, there are some things which I see, which have, it, it's an individual I'm seeing. I'm still talking about this nation now. Eh? When I see an individual involved, eh, and the thing that I see is not so desirable, you will excuse me if I do not mention the individual. Eh? But I saw someone being taken on a sick leave. It's not something to rejoice about. Eh? Some people obviously will, eh? but now we really are here to give life. Eh? No matter who the people are, and this one you'll see no matter who they are. Eh? <laughs> okay, now, I took it for a long time, eh? It'll be like two weeks. How they get out, we'll pray for them. While we are praying for them, we will know whether we ought to continue or not, eh? Okay, let me leave it there. <laughs> Glory to God! Two months later, a global pandemic caused nations around the world 
to go on mandatory lockdown, putting their citizens on forced leave for at least two weeks, consistent with the prophetic word. Everybody who was in New York should be self-quarantining for the next 14 days to ensure that the virus doesn't spread to others. Everyone returning to Canada isolate themselves for 14 days. In Uganda, President Yoweri Museveni has imposed a 14-day curfew in a raft of measures to curb the further spread of the coronavirus in that country. There are some prophecies, there are some prophecies which are actually given in concealed form. What does that mean? It means in cryptic form. What does that mean again? It means in a form that is not as obvious as people would take it or would see it. The actual prophecy came in bits here and there. If you go and uh, uh, January 7th, in the beginning of the year, I said uh, uh, someone would have a 14-day sick leave, what I call the sick leave. Now that's on record. Now, so, <laughs> I mean, I actually said two weeks to be precise. Now, uh, then this whole thing starts playing out uh, in the year, and we realize that uh, the time in which uh, uh, people are being quarantined is 14 days, two weeks, not so. Yes, yeah, so uh, that's one of the things that I, 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 I prophesied. And uh, then I said, again on record, and then I, then I said, uh, while, whilst I was closing the fellowship that day, I said uh, a name called Iga, Iga came to me. It's also on record. Then I said, it's coming in the news. Now, uh, there was uh, a pastor, Iga, that was actually arrested for the things related to the coronavirus. This and many other prophetic fulfillments by this supreme prophet of God have proven that all the expertise of the world is no match for God's illumination, guidance, and direction, and is those privileged to be led by Prophet Elvis Mbonye into our divine destiny, presenting the kingdoms of this world before our Lord and His Christ. We accord double honor to one who speaks as the very oracles of God in our generation, the prophet to the nations, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. Connect with Prophet Elvis Mbonye by going to www.prophetelvis.com slash Facebook, prophetelvis.com slash Twitter, prophetelvis.com slash Instagram, and prophetelvis.com slash YouTube. For this and more information, visit our website at www.prophetelvis.com.